Hi, I'm Mike Hughes. We're out on the range today doing a little recoil management drill. We have the, one of the new Fuji high-speed cameras. It's low pixelation, it's low resolution, but it does a thousand frames per second. So my objective here is to really look at my recoil management, look at my trigger finger mechanics, look at what the gun and the muzzle's really doing during a rapid shot drill. Ready, Sean? All right, so with something like that, it's hard to really diagnose what's going on. Like, what's my muzzle really doing when I, the, the dynamic motion? Is it like being a tuning fork and flipping around? Is it coming right back down and, and being pretty steady? Um, I could even maybe look at my trigger finger a little bit and see is it, is it coming off the trigger? Am I coming off the reset? What, what's going on? It looks it's pretty fast, but uh, let's slow it down in time and see what we got. Okay, basically what I'm looking at here is I'm watching that shot come back. I'm watching that recoil through my body and looking at that front sight coming back down. There's another shot, recoils back, comes down. A little bit of a dip there, not too bad. Back, down. I'm thinking that I might want to play around, try rolling my shoulders a little bit more, getting behind that gun. Right now, I've got a lot of chest squeeze behind that gun, but I'm just going to play with my grip, my upper stance, my upper triangle a bit. You can see those brass pieces flying around. There was a lot of dip there, way too much dip. And slide lock. All right, so that was an interesting diagnostic. I'm going to do that again. This time, I'm going to change up things a little bit. I've been shooting very upright for a long time, but well, I'm gonna kind of roll over my shoulders a little bit, kind of like Savigny does and some other shooters, and see how that affects that, that recoil management. Here we go, Sean. Down, gonna roll over. Go ahead. Excellent. That felt pretty good. Um, Technique-wise, when I'm rolling over, I'm trying to keep my, my shoulder blades, my scapulas, still engaged to my back. I don't want to like really hunch over like that. So the challenge is to keep my, my scapulas engaged and try to try to roll the shoulders and really get behind that gun. Straighten the arms out a little bit, but keep that chest squeeze and my ring finger C-clamp grip in that front part of that gun. At least that's what I'm playing with right now. Let's look at the film and see if it worked. Okay, I am looking at this film. What's really going on here? See, I'm much more rolled over. There's a first shot. That muzzle dips back down. And from this reference point, it still has that little bit of a tuning fork where it's coming down and dipping down and coming back up. Now, as you recall, it was a fairly fast string, probably like 1,700 splits. So that little dip may not be bad. But honestly, I'd like to get rid of it if I could. It's kind of cool looking at those brass pieces in the air. There, back, down. You can almost see that bullet come out. It's pretty phenomenal, this camera, the capabilities. Now I have a few cueing points here. Is how's my body? Am I low enough? Am I getting rocked back? Is my whole core getting rocked back? It looks pretty stable. I'm okay with that. Okay, a little bit of that dip. A little bit more of a dip I'm noticing the further I get in the string. There's a lot of dip. I don't like that. Now I am dynamically playing with my grip, and we got slide lock. Okay, interesting. That's fascinating. Okay, if you're all still watching, uh, I commend you, because I'm taking this video beyond the standard three-minute short attention span BS, which is you know prevalent out there. This drill really fascinates me. Uh, it's new technology using the slow mo cam. This Fuji camera film deal, it's a FinePix HS10. It was like 250 bucks on the internet. Um, like low resolution, but you know, it meets threshold for what we're doing here. Point being on this, point being there's two points on this, on this analysis and this drill. One is having an open mind because I have always liked and adopted this very neutral athletic shoulder stance, a little bit of bent elbows, full cant in the wrist, and a lot of chest pressure, okay? but the eye in the sky don't lie, as we say in football. And what I'm seeing here is maybe a slight amount 
more of a, of a dip and a slight more rocking in my body with that stance. So I'm, I'm open, man. I'm going to roll my shoulders a little bit forward and get behind that gun and, and, and validate, see what happens. And not only validate here, but also validate on the target. But anyways, the second big point here, besides like not being afraid to change it up, is is like let's let's kind of put tempest in a teapot in their own spot all right i mean this is for like top you know single digit percentage of shooters that really really want to refine their technique probably not the major deficiency for a good majority of shooters and, and if you're a trainer people you train but still i mean it, it, there's value in doing this analysis but let's continue it further what i'm doing here i'm looking at both the top and bottom both sets at the same time so let's take a look and continue our look now I'm looking at the bottom we have arms extended shoulders rolled over and the top is the first set where their arms are relaxed so I'm looking at a shock wave going through my body in the upper first set with arms bent and the lower one when that shot goes off it looks a lot it looks like it's not rocking through my arms as much I'm looking at the top here and I'm not quite galloping, but look at that shock wave. Go through the bot arms and on the bottom. Yeah, there's just not as much movement. Um, the core of the base on both are fairly, are fairly well. I'm staying low. Interesting. And let's look at the... Yeah, I, I'm liking that. I'm liking how that looks. So I guess when I pull away from this now, what I am seeing from this content is it makes a little bit more sense to perhaps keep my, my shoulder blades engaged. I don't want to really come over because it's just, it's just such an awkward position and, it, and I think that would breed some more muscular deficiencies like strength, you know, the disproportionate deficiencies. But shoulder blades locked in. I'm going to try to roll over, get more aggressive on that. I don't want to bury my head down. I'm probably going to keep it up a little bit. But um, straighten those arms out a little bit. A lot of chest squeeze like I learned from Rodney May. And see what kind of results I get over the next few weeks. Uh, stay tuned because um, there's going to be a lot more content in this arena.